Welcome to Chapter 3 of our gripping tale. The storm outside the secluded cabin was relentless, with rain pounding against the windows like a thousand tiny fists. Inside, Cleo Gadgetson stood in the dim light, her heart racing as she faced Victor Steele, a rival inventor whose ambition had led to a deadly confrontation. The air was thick with tension, punctuated only by the distant rumble of thunder. Cleo's eyes darted around the room, taking in the scattered blueprints and half-finished prototypes that littered the table. Each item whispered secrets of the past, but it was the hidden diary she had discovered earlier that held the key to the truth. She clutched it tightly, feeling the weight of its revelations. This chapter sets the stage for a high-stakes investigation, where every clue could be the difference between justice and injustice. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery. Victor Steele, leaning against the wall in his tailored suit, presented a stark contrast to the rustic cabin surroundings. His voice was low, with a dangerous edge lurking beneath his calm facade as he responded to Cleo's accusations. You think you can just waltz in here and accuse me? He challenged. Cleo, undeterred, held her ground. I know about the diary, Victor. I know about your connection to the victim, she replied her voice steady despite the storm's fury outside. Victor's expression shifted, a flicker of something, fear, perhaps, crossing his face before he masked it with a smirk. Fear is a powerful motivator, Cleo, but it's not the only one. Cleo stepped closer, the floor creaking beneath her feet. You were jealous of his success. You wanted his invention for yourself. The wind howled, and for a moment, Silence enveloped them. Cleo could hear her own heartbeat, the tension palpable. She needed to maintain control to keep the evidence chain intact. As the storm raged on, the final pieces of the puzzle began to align in Cleo's mind. She felt a surge of determination, knowing she was on the brink of uncovering the truth. The diary she held was more than just a collection of words. It was a testament to the threats Victor had made. I have the diary, Victor. It details your threats, she declared, her voice cutting through the storm's roar. The tension in the room was palpable, each heartbeat echoing like a drum. Cleo knew the importance of maintaining the evidence chain, ensuring that every piece of information was preserved for the investigation. The cost of failure was too high, and she was resolved to see justice served. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mystery on the Storyteller channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more thrilling chapters.